North Carolina's treasurer is asking for emergency funding for the state health plan. He says it faces a shortfall of about one and a half billion dollars over the next three years. Our Capitol reporter Michael Highland is live in Raleigh. And Michael, what's behind this? Well, the treasurer says it's several issues all coming together at once. And just this week, the board that oversees the state health plan voted to raise premiums for some retired employees, even those on fixed incomes. Treasurer Falwell is asking the legislature for more money while lawmakers are still here in Raleigh. He says the current budget funded less than what was needed for the plan, which covers more than 700,000 people. In addition, prescription and health care costs are going up, including for Medicare Advantage plans and weight loss drugs, though the state health plan recently stopped covering those. There also have been half a million dollars in COVID-related costs, most of which the General Assembly has not reimbursed. We asked Senate Leader Phil Berger as well about this to see how it's impacting talks about the state budget. This is either going to be paid for or it's going to be financed on the backs of those that teach protected by the way I serve. That has not been an issue that has impacted in any way what we've been talking about. The state is projected to have a billion-dollar surplus, which is slightly less than originally thought. But Treasurer Falwell says the state also got more than $5 billion from the federal government for the COVID-19 pandemic, and he says they should use part of that money to help pay for costs for the health plan. Ivan Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you.